When Hurricane Michael destroyed the Panama City Mall in 2018, no one anticipated it would still be in the same condition today. More than three years ago, Panama City commissioners approved a rezoning request for the mall property in hopes of seeing some progress. But as News 13's Jack Hole tells us, one of the property owners is now asking for another zoning change. Sears was one of the original anchor stores when the Panama City Mall opened in 1976. The legacy retailer declared bankruptcy five days after Hurricane Michael destroyed the Panama City store. Everything has remained the same, but that could be changing. The property owner is requesting to rezone uh, the property from, uh, it's currently a PUD zoning. Uh, they wish to rezone it to commercial. Uh, or GC2 actually. The property owner is Seritage SRC Finance. Seritage representatives will be attending the Panama City Planning Board meeting on Monday asking for a zoning change. In 2020, Hendon Properties requested the majority of the mall be zoned as a planned unit development or PUD. Henson's concept was a mixture of retail and residential, but so far nothing has materialized. There was anticipation of uh, redeveloping the property in a certain manner and um, those plans have since faded away. While Hendon owns most of the property, J.C. Penney's, Dillard's, and Seritage own the Anchor stores. Seritage also owns the Sears store, the Sears Auto store, and the surrounding parking. That's the property involved in Monday's meeting. Planning board members will send a recommendation to city commissioners who could make a decision at their Tuesday meeting. In Panama City, Jack Hole, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If approved, Seritage will still need to work with Hendon Properties, especially if they decide to demolish the buildings. City officials say they haven't seen any new plans from Hendon.